Today we're going to look at calculating percentages in functional skills questions and the main method we're going to use for that is the decimal method. So I'll just write that on the board at the top. So let's look at an example question. Quite often you'll be asked to find percentages of monetary values and this will probably be in a contextualized situation. So let's look at a £250 TV that you're going to buy in a shop and in the sales it's been reduced in price uh, by 15% so I'll put 15% off and we've got to then work out what the new price is going to be after reducing this 15% now for this type of question there's a three step method that you can do to work it out the first one as you can hopefully gather by the title is we're going to change the 15% in the question straight to a decimal and the way we do that is to divide it by 100 now if you're not sure exactly why that is make sure you watch our other tutorial that shows you how to convert between percentages, fractions and decimals and that will make it a lot clearer and it's worth noting at this point that you are allowed a calculator for all these questions in the exam so I'm just going to bring that up now and do 15, we don't need to worry about the percentage, we're just going to use the numbers, so 15 divided by 100 and see what that's equal to. So it's 0 0.15 or 0 0.15 so I'm going to write that as our answer and that is actually a little clue to know if you've got the right answer or not. Your decimal should essentially just be 0 point in front of the percentage number you had so 15% becomes 0.15 the only time this won't happen is if you've got a starting percentage of less than 10%, then it would become 0 0.0, say 0 0.05 if it was 5%. But in this case, they look very similar. So that's our first bit, we've changed it into a decimal. The second step is actually to take our original value, so the £250, and we need to times that by the decimal that we've just found, so times it by 0 0.15. The reason for that is if we times anything by a number that's less than 1, we'll be finding a smaller value of it. And that's what we're needing when we're looking at 15%. So again, we can go back to our calculator to work that out. So 250 times by 0.15. So that's 37.5. Or in this case, as we're looking at money, we can call it £37.50. And that value is 15% of the total. That's what I'm just going to put in brackets on the side. That's 15%. So if a question actually asked us simply what is 15% of this £250, that would be the end of the question. We'd have finished there with the 37.50 as our final answer. However, like we looked at at the start, this question was about reducing that price by 15%. So we've got one final step. And then all we have to do is go from that total, the 250, and take away the £37.50, which we've just found as our 15%. And that should give us the new reduced price. So once again, I'll get the calculator up for that. 250, take away £37.50. So that equals £212.50. So I'll write that on. 212 pound 50 and that now is our final answer so we've done the question and again if you want to check that our answer is roughly right it looks fine because it's lower than the initial total of 250 which of course it should be if we're doing a discount question so that's the end of that question we're going to look at one more example that slightly appears more difficult when you first see it but actually we'll see that it's exactly the same method this one we're just going to do 300 pounds I'm going to find a 17.5% and we'll do increase this time. So 17.5% increase in price. Okay, so don't worry about the fact that it's got a 0.5%. You're not always guaranteed to get a whole number like 15, 20. You might well get 17.5, 0.5. 
but don't worry about that because we're still going to do exactly the same method it still works the same so our first step like we did last time was just to transfer the percentage to a decimal and that was to divide it by 100 and again always remember you can use your calculator for these you don't have to do it in your head so 17.5 divided by 100 oh that's a thousand 17 0.5 divided by 100. So we get 0 0.175. And again, like I was saying before, it looks like the same number but just with a 0 point in front of it. So that's our decimal. And the second stage was to times our original value, the 300 pounds, by that decimal that we just found, 0 0.175. We'll go back to the calculator. So 300 times 0.175 so that gives you 52 pound 50 again that is our 17.5 percent of the original 300 and the last bit is going to be slightly different to last time because we're increasing the price so this time we're going to have to do 300 plus instead of minus the 52 pound 50 that we just found and that will give us an answer of 300 uh, 3300 plus 52 pound 50 so 352 pound 50 and again that's your final answer so as I was saying don't be put off by the fact that it's 0.5% or even 0.2%, something like that. It will be exactly the same method to do in the question, so just follow those three steps or just the two steps if you're not having to find an increase or decrease, and that will give you your final answer that you're looking for. And that's the end of the tutorial.